Good morning guys and welcome to day four, I believe, here in Iceland. Today we are only driving about three or so hours and we'll be making some more stops on the way. It's a little bit more of a chill day, we don't really have anything planned. I think we're going to be stopping by the Thingvalar National Park again, possibly doing a few little hikes out around there. We'll eventually make our way to Borganis. So we gotta say bye to this awesome hotel room that we have. I thought this place was so cool how you're like in your own little hut thing and it has this awesome view out the back. So I gotta just pack up all of my stuff and then we will be out shortly. We also need to call the rental car people because yesterday um, the like check engine light came on and I don't know, I think there's some, some issues with our car. So we need to figure that out before we drive it too far. Our car actually has quite a few issues with it. It's a French car and the French are not known for their vehicles, I believe. Hopefully we can get where we're going without it breaking down. <laughs> I've started making a list on my phone of all the problems it has. Things like you can't see out the back, the doors don't open, things are in awkward places. It's, the, it's unsafe because you can't even see the buttons on the dashboard. You can't see what you're doing. Like. <sighs> It's really weird. I'll show you guys some of those things later on if I remember. <laughs> but yeah, I just gotta finish packing up my suitcase and my backpack and a few last minute things like that and then we will be off. We don't really have much of a plan for today except for to get to Borganis, but I'm not sure what kind of stops we're gonna make along the way, but I guess we'll see when we get there. So, all right, see you then. All right, you guys, we've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that we call the rental car company and we have to drive back to Reykjavik and give them back the car and yeah, <sighs> okay. The good news is I guess that means we're getting a new car <laughs> because this old car is so bad. So I'm gonna go outside to our car and show you guys all the stupid things about it. And luckily Reykjavik isn't too far out of our way on our drive today, but still, uh, it's kind of annoying having to go back to the rental car place and go in the back of our car and get a new one and blah, blah, blah. But Anyway, since we will be returning it today, I better go and show you guys all the things about it now. All right, so this is our car. Number one thing about it is it's just kind of ugly as hell. Let's go on the inside. First thing, when you open this door, watch here. This, it's actually not as bad now as it used to be. Also, they have little orange marks everywhere where there's something wrong with it. But basically when you open this door, it like catches on here. Actually, I wonder why it's not that bad right now. Usually it makes a sound like something is breaking. You can kind of hear that. It's not too bad right now, maybe because, I don't know, the temperature or something. But, okay. So here's what it looks like on the inside. First thing, you cannot see out of the back. There's this huge pillar out there in the way. So like when you're sitting in the front and you're looking in the back, you can't see anything back there. Like that's just unsafe. I'm actually gonna sit in this driver's seat so I can see a little bit more about it. One thing is that it's actually pretty dang uncomfortable to knowing to sit here for many hours at end. And again, see, you can't see anything out of the back. The controls over here, like to see if the lights are on or not, are behind the steering wheel. And they're behind this when this is actually facing forward. So to be able to see like if your lights are on or these controls or what's here, you have to be like turning. Like this is just a bad design. You can't see any of this because it's all behind the wheel. Also, this is the shifter. It's a little dial. You just turn these to go from park, reverse, neutral, drive. Like that's... That's just bad. It's, you feel like you're not actually shifting. You're just turning a little dial. I don't know. I mean, this is kind of weird, right? This is a mess. Every time we turn the car on, this we can't get to ever turn off. So it's just always on saying things at us. Something funny about the windshield wipers, which I can't show you guys because I'm not going to turn the car on right now. But when the windshield wipers go by, they catch on each other. Like if there's not enough uh, water and stuff on the windshield, it catches on it and it like folds in on itself and makes... It's just like what? We were driving with the windshield wipers on yesterday and they kept folding in on itself. And the first time it happened, my mom thought she hit like a big bird or something. It was actually kind of scary. <laughs> And I was like, oh no, the windshield wiper just hit itself and folded and broke and 
<sighs> also, the seats like this, this is at like a 90 degree angle and it's really uncomfortable, but we cannot figure out how to make it go back. I think it's just stuck like that. Also, this here comes out pretty far, and my dad, when he's driving, his knee goes right here, and so his knee is just up against this hard plastic, and he says that it, like, really hurts, and it's really uncomfortable, and just makes it such a pain to drive. Because here, you need to be hitting the accelerator up here, and so his knee just hits right here all the time. Let's see, what are some other things about this car? It's just, oh, the seat belts, especially the back seat belts often get stuck and like don't retract. Also, these two sliding doors in the back are complete crap. This one on the right side hardly ever opens. We can only get it to open like a foot. Let me see if it's gonna open now. Ow, I just hit my knee on the console. <laughs> Is it gonna open the moment of truth? Oh, oh, it gets stuck a little bit. Oh. Okay. We were able to get it open all the way that time. Something down here doesn't work. I think actually something on the other side in there is broken. It's like missing a part somehow. So it oftentimes gets stuck. Like, it gets stuck right here. That's all you can open. Like, how are you supposed to get out of that? Also, this car only has like 63,000 kilometers. It should be like a brand new car, but this is such crap. <laughs> All right, that's it. I guess we're gonna go and return it now. So let's see what new car we get. All right, I just needed to document this to show you guys all the crazy things about this car and my hair apparently. What the heck? <laughs> all right, we gotta pack up the car and go now. See you guys later. Update on the car, we have the same car because we went to the rental car place and everything and they just had to fill up on something and I don't know, so it's kind of a pain that we had to come all the way down here and we didn't even get a different car, we have the same crappy car, but whatever. Uh, we just had lunch now in Reykjavik, we're just in like downtown Reykjavik. My mom and I got uh, some t-shirts and some cheese and stuff, but I'll show you guys a little bit of Reykjavik. Here's a little bit of the downtown area and down there you can see the harbor maybe just a little bit down there yeah there's a bunch of like cute little shops and stuff should we show them the t-shirts we got we got the same one <laughs> it's the t-shirt we got it's simple it says iceland and has this symbol that i need to learn what it means but it looks like a snowflake <laughs> go camera <laughs> it's got stuck okay there you go all right <laughs> here we go oh see <laughs> wait look <laughs> Do you see this? When I open the car, it like catches on there. Oh, it catches down here now. Oh, wow. <gasps> <laughs> like, what Jeez. the heck? <laughs> gotten to our next hotel in Borganes and so this is what it looks like it's pretty basic there's my brother over there we're going to be sharing the night so I hope I don't snore and I hope you don't snore <laughs> um basically you come into the door here there's a bathroom over here it's kind of weird like the shower is just like a, a little door thing and so water is just going to get everywhere but oh well so there's just the two beds here there's a tv cameron's over here hello hi and then this is our view so that this is actually a really cool view i like it look at that mountain over there 
Look at that car. <laughs> also see there's like a little bridge over here that goes to another little area, I guess. That's kind of neat. But yeah, it's pretty, it's drizzly, it's Iceland. I think we're just gonna hang out here for like half an hour to an hour, chill for a little bit, unpack stuff, and then we are going to a museum of some sort. Did mom and dad say what kind of museum we're going to? It's called like the settlement thing. I think it's supposed to be like early Viking stuff. I think that's the idea. History. Okay, so like a history Viking museum thing. Maybe. Yeah, I think you're right, maybe. We will see, <laughs> yeah. but they're open until nine o'clock or something. So yeah. we're just gonna chill here. Then go there, and that's it. It's been a chill day. Okay, I'll update you if something interesting happens. So we're at the grocery store right now, and you can get a pepperoni taco, or some hot wings, or even a Reykjavik fitness. Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting at my desk editing this video and I realized a few things about it that I feel like I want to explain. Number one, sorry it was so boring. Literally nothing really happened this day in Iceland. We spent a lot of the day trying to figure out the car and going back to Reykjavik and going to the rental car place and dealing with them and blah, blah, blah. So we didn't end up being able to go back to the Thingvalar National Park or anything like that. Um, and we kind of just spent the day driving and figuring all of that stuff out. Yeah, sometimes your days don't go as planned, but you know, it happens. And I didn't have an ending to this video because I was going to combine it with the next day's footage, but then I ended up getting so much other stuff the next day that I just kind of had to end this here. Sorry it wasn't very interesting. I also feel like I was kind of complaining about everything in this video. I don't know, like complaining about the car and then I said that the shower was weird and blah blah blah. And I don't want you guys to think that I was like ungrateful that I was on this amazing trip and in Iceland and all of that, so I don't want it to come across that way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know why I feel like I need to explain all of this, but for some reason I do. So that's it. I'm surprised if you made it to the end of this video. Uh, sorry, it was totally not interesting, but I promise the next two days are a lot more interesting. You guys are also probably getting pretty tired of Iceland vlogs by now, so I'm pretty impressed if you're still watching this. Yeah, thank you guys for watching even though today was not that much of an interesting vlog to watch. Sometimes things just again don't go as planned and I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew I was not being like ungrateful or anything. I just wanted to like generally show the Peugeot car and stuff because I thought it was funny and it was kind of a running joke in the family the whole trip of all the weird things that happened with that car. So yeah, I guess if you are uh, renting a car for something, I would not recommend getting a Peugeot. But yeah, all right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.